This is Amy Renee, and you're listening to Brink Radio on 96.3 FM. You're listening to Brink Radio. What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brink Young, coming straight out of them South Memphis slums, and you are listening to Brink Radio right here on 96.3 FM. Talk about bumping 96.3, because you know Brink put the B in bumping, right? Of course you do. Look, we got a real special guest on the show tonight, this beautiful young lady. Hey, she's actually been a guest on Brink TV before, but hey, she decided to go ahead and spin the block and join us on Brink Radio tonight. We're talking about none other than Amy Renee. How you doing? I'm doing good. First and foremost, I got to say thank you for being a guest on the show. It means a lot to have you kicking with us tonight. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. No doubt, no doubt. Now, of course, like I say, I got to say this. You know, I'm grateful to be in this beautiful lady's presence again because she's actually a business owner. And you know how I feel about them entrepreneurs. Like I say, I got a soft spot in my heart for the entrepreneurs because I am one of them and so are you. But let's go ahead and talk. What is your business? What's the name of it? Amy Renee's Hair Studio. Okay. Amy Renee's Hair Studio. So let's talk more about Amy Renee's Hair Studio. Where is it located? It's located in Memphis in the Walker Homes area. Um, the address is 3014 Old Horn Lake Road. Okay. So definitely shout out to everybody out there in that area. And of course, if you're familiar with the area, you need to stop in and get them ends clipped at least something. We got to talk <laughs> about what do you specialize in? Well, I love cutting hair i love pixie cuts i call it designer pixie cuts and i also specialize in healthy hair care okay so for the people who might be unaware of what pixie cuts are how do you describe what is a pixie cut well basically a pixie cut is short on the sides and in the back i call it a designer pixie cut because basically i go in and i do my own thing because you know everybody's head shape is not the same okay so i gotta design it the haircut according to the shape of the head and i put the you know set it up according to the facial features as well okay now as, as far as pixie cuts like is that like you remember how Holly, Halle Berry used to have her hair back yes, in the day is that a pixie that's cut that's a pixie cut like like how uh Nia Long used to have it back yeah, in the day that's like a pixie Nia cut yeah like Nia Long Tony yeah Tony Braxton oh man that lady was gorgeous Yes. What what about back when Jada Pinky used to have? Is that a pixie cut too? That's a pixie cut as well. Okay, I'm loving this. So of course we got to talk about you know you told us what you specialize in. Mm-hmm. You know, let's talk about those hours of operation as well. Well, I'm um, there Tuesday through Friday. Okay. At three thirty. And then on Saturdays, I take appointments as early as 5 o'clock. Now, you also mentioned that you specialize in healthy hair care. What, what exactly is healthy hair care exactly? Healthy hair care is making sure that the hair is in a healthy state. Like, I'm going to tell you this. A lot of times, for instance, for those people that do their hair at home, somebody may, when you get a chemical service, some people don't know the proper shampoo that they're supposed to use. Mm, okay. Some people don't know, and it's very imperative to healthy hair care, knowing the proper shampoos to use, knowing the proper conditioners to use, knowing when your hair has enough elasticity or when it has lost elasticity. And healthy hair care also includes healthy scalp care. A lot of times, you know, you can use too much product. I hear some clients or people that I talk to in general, they talk about um, that they put a protein in their hair. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't know that sometimes you can use too much protein on your hair or you can use a moisturizing uh, conditioner and use it too much. So you have you need that expert advice. In order to let you know, you know, what's going on with the hair. You know, you need a proper hair and scalp analysis. And that's why I'm here. (laughs) That's incredible because you almost sound like a hair therapist almost. You know what I'm saying? I am. Yeah, so you can pretty much diagnose whatever a person's problem is. You can kind of give them advice and, you know, help advise them on different hair care products to use. One thing that was actually interesting that you talked about, you was talking about how, you know, um knowing what shampoo and conditioner to use let's talk about that if we can for a minute because you know when i first started growing my hair out i was using stuff like you know regular stuff that we see the commercials for you know i ain't just trying to throw nobody under the bus but 
someone let me know that hey that isn't made for us you know let's dive into that a little bit more because obviously black people our hair care i mean our hair texture is a lot different you know it requires different ingredients than what the traditional stuff is out there that they're promoting let's dive into that a little bit more you know when you were talking even the elements of the the elements the sun the some the 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 uh, seasons fall winter spring summer you have to take that into consideration as well when you're talking about your hair sometimes the hair is just too dry yeah. and you know some of those products that you mentioned they have extra like alcohol in them yeah it has an alcohol base so if your hair is dry you don't need alcohol based shampoos so are you saying that alcohol actually dries it out even more like yeah okay. if your hair is dry and you use alcohol and then you have some you know this thing about oil sometimes you can use too much oil really oh yeah okay you know a lot you you can use the wrong oil in the wrong season really yeah i didn't know none of this stuff man <laughs> teach me put me on guy let me know yeah you can yeah. use the wrong oil in okay. the wrong season okay you know i've been doing this a very very long time and then you know sometimes people will listen and sometimes they don't yeah you know and it's very dangerous when you take it up on yourself to use chemicals at home yeah you know if I could just count the times that I've had emergency phone calls with people calling me, Amy, I messed up. Wow. Wow. I'm talking about you coming in. I told you not to do a certain thing and your hair is missing down the middle of your head. Wow. You know, and a lot of times, you know, you're doing these relaxers at home. You know, a lot of people, our relaxers are not bad. Okay. Everybody has their own opinion, but I've been using relaxers for a very long time. Okay. I have my edges. I have no patches. I mean, my hair hasn't come out. I have no illnesses. So, you know, to each his own, what they choose to believe. Yeah. But you can do, you can improperly use a chemical and cause damage yourself. Yeah. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a second that real quick because I'm going to speak on uh, one of my experiences. Now, I don't want y'all to think I personally put the perm in my head myself. Like, I wasn't over there with the gloves and, the you know, the little popsicle stick putting it in my head. It wasn't me. But at the time, we're talking about, man, almost 20 years ago, I had a girlfriend and she was putting it in my head. And like I said, I don't want to say the brand name because you never know. They might end up a sponsor yeah, one day. That's not but she was putting, you know, I didn't know which one to get. So I go to the store, you know, Kroger or whatever. I get a, po a box perm and I didn't know which one to get. I didn't even know it was different types of perms. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't know. So I'm thinking how nappy my hair was. I'm thinking, well, should I need ultra? You know, <laughs> but not knowing I don't need all of that. So she's putting it in, putting it in, putting it in. Do you know how much hair I lost? Yeah. You couldn't really see it. Like as far as like it wasn't no, no, no uh, clumps or patches or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But my hair was pretty much down here at one point after she put that perm in and after a few, you know, it, it really going in, setting in or whatever. My hair was like on my neck. Oh, my goodness. And I mean, like, it really turned me out because I didn't know no better, you know. Yeah. So that's why it's important for us to be educated. And I'm glad that you are on the show to kind of educate us on stuff like that. And then I'm surprised you mentioned that perms aren't bad. Like, you know. All relaxers are not bad. Okay. No, they're they're not. You know, it's just about you going to the going to a professional yeah. and knowing how, letting them do the work. Okay. And a lot of times you can use the wrong shampoo after a relaxer. Yeah. You go in the beauty supply and they're offering maybe, you know, a professional relaxer. And a lot of times a client does not know what kind of shampoo they actually need. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the strengths of the relaxer. You know, I've seen it time and time again. You know, I, I could say from my experience, my hair hasn't come out. Yeah. You know, I haven't had any bad experiences. My clients, their hair hasn't come out. Yeah. I, I use relaxers. and I have natural clients and I have relaxed clients. To me, I will not. I choose to let my clients make the decision if they want to be natural if they want to be relaxed. Yeah. It's a choice. 
Now I gotta ask you, like, with this climate we're in right now, like, do you have more natural clients or or relaxed clients? Because I know a lot of people, you know, over the years they began to go more natural. So I mean, what would you say? You know, is the ratio? I'll say that um, I was at the hair show, and I had the opportunity to talk to to a stylist. Okay. She lives in a certain area. Okay. She lives in maybe I think it was. Milwaukee. Wow, okay. And it's cool yeah, in Milwaukee. And Wisconsin. Doing this at, yeah. Yeah. You know, opposed to where we are. Right. So the climates are different. So I would say in our climate, I mean, it's so much that I could say and I gotta come back on the show. I'm because with you, yeah. <laughs> because on with natural hair, there are different products that you can use mm. in order to make that natural hair style last longer. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I need then- to know some of them products. I ain't gonna lie. Because I mean, <laughs> yeah. like when I see, I used to wear my hair like flat iron for a long time. Right. And as soon as that heat and humidity hit it, man, we talking about, I'm looking like showing sure off out the last dragon. Like I'm talking about puff. Like it puffs yeah. out. As soon as I sweat, because I sweat a lot, yeah. you know. So I definitely need to get with you and know some of them products that I can use to let my natural hair last longer, you know. But yeah. continue. I'm sorry. There's a treatment that you can get, it's okay. a system that you can get. And um, I could tell you more about it, you know, later, but it'll help your hair to last longer. Okay. You know, and it's natural and it lasts maybe two to three months, depending on the texture of the hair. And then you go back, you have to get it again. But me, I mostly serve, service um, relaxed clients. Okay. Relax. I do relaxer services and pixie cuts. And then I do... Because all of my grandchildren are natural. No one has a relaxer. Yeah. Even my my grandson, he's like you. He's growing his hair out. He has the twist and braid down or whatever. But mostly all of them, they are natural. Yeah. So there is something for if you want to wear your hair straight and you're worried about it, you know, reverting back too soon, there's something for you to help it, you know, last longer. Hey, me and her definitely going to talk off the radio. We're going to get that popping. So let's talk more about, like, why did you want to come on the show tonight? Well, I came on, wanted to come on tonight because I, um, I'll be offering a new service. Okay. It, yes. It's the non-surgical hair solutions. Really? Yes. Okay. The clients can come in and bring their insurance cards and their documents and their their doctor's information, their contact information, and any per- paperwork that's related. And I could check their insurance to see if they're covered. Okay. And if they're covered, the insurance will pay a percentage, if not all, for their service. Wow. Yes. So you mean to tell me they'll actually be able, well, the people who are actually experiencing, you know, hair loss, maybe it's what, like, what do they call it? Is it alopecia? Yes, it's alopecia. Okay. And I'm glad you brought up that word alopecia because September. Okay. It's Alopecia Awareness Month. Okay, hey, so hey, we right here, we talking about September 3rd. We just kicked off Alopecia Awareness Month. So this is actually perfect timing for, you know, people who are experiencing, you know, this, you know, rough uh, condition, we'll call it, you know. Right. This is perfect timing for them to reach out to you, you know, and like you said, if they have insurance, you know, the insurance will pay a percentage of it, and then they, they'll they take care of the rest, right? Yeah, if not all. Really? There are instances where the insurance will pay a percentage of it, okay. if not all of it. I'm doing complimentary consultations starting the second week of September. Okay, so that's pretty much like next week. <laughs> hey, so y'all <laughs> can definitely get in contact with her and get that popping. It's so many women, you know, who are experiencing this. Like, I know a few of them personally. Mm -hmm. And one thing I could say about them, a lot of them are not as vocal about it. A lot of them hide it. You know, like, for instance, you know, I did mention Jada Pinkett Smith earlier. You know, she's actually been vocal as of last year about her condition, you know, talking about it. But I know other women. I have female friends who have it. But, of course, they always hide it. You know, they don't want to be as vocal. So, This is basically the opportunity. If you are in the Memphis area, you know, this is basically your opportunity to be able to do something about it. And like she said, the key word, non-surgical. I love it. I love it. You know, Mm -hmm. that Ben Yee got to go under the knife, you know, but she's (laughs) definitely going to have you slay. So for more information, like what would the people have to do, you know, to contact you and stuff like that? What would they have to do? They will contact me, Amy Renee. Okay. My number is 901-859-7846. Again, 
901-859-7846. And they can also contact me on um on social media. Okay. Instagram. I'm Amy Renee on Instagram. And I'm the hair professor. On, I mean, the hair professor, I'm sorry, on Instagram. Yeah. Facebook is Amy Renee. Okay. Instagram underscore the hair professor. Hey, you definitely need to develop a relationship with the hair professor because she will be able to educate you and teach you about what you need to do to improve your hair care. You know, it's funny. We always talk about, you know, the soft life. You know, women always talk about having, you know, these days to themselves, you know, right. all of that type of stuff. Like it's a key part of, you know, your everyday upkeep. So you definitely want to do that. Like I say, reach out to her on Instagram, reach out to her Facebook. She also gave the phone number. You want to get a number one more time yes. just in case they ain't here yes i most certainly do there you go 901-859-7846 that's 901-859-7846 Seven eight four six. And you guys, like I say, make sure y'all hit her up. She will be doing complimentary consultations beginning next week. My We're talking about the second week of September. So she will be doing them by appointment. So you gotta contact her. Now let's dive into it just before we leave, you know. This is a true passion of yours. You it know, is. this really means a lot to you. I would like for you to just expound on it to the Brink Radio audience so that they can really understand, you know, this is nothing to, you know, fear. This is nothing to hide hide behind. It's not. Um, I've been in the business, the licensed professional for over 30 years. And time and time again, I will have clients come in, their edges, they'll be them broke out their edges. But lately, it's... You know, it's not just the older generation. It's the younger generations that's dealing with alopecia and hair loss because of improper hair care. Some of them say that it's uh, hereditary. But I have always been that person to challenge that. Yeah. To challenge it. When someone sits in my in my chair and their hair is breaking out. And I've actually grown back. A couple, but they go right back with the same habits right. and take their hair out again. So, you know, I'm working with a few people even now. So, I'm just excited about it and I'm passionate about it because I know that that's something that really, you know, hits home with me dealing with different scalp issues. When I was a young girl, I had eczema. Okay. And my skin, and I mentioned earlier about healthy hair care, it includes scalp care. So, you know, I know how touching this subject is when you're dealing with your hair. You know, that is your, a woman's crown. That's your right. crown is your glory. Right. And when you got problems going on up there with your crown, you need somebody to help you fix your crown. There you go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. See, that's what we're talking about. Restoring that confidence, ladies. That's right. Make sure you set up an appointment with the hair professor. Like I say, Amy Renee, she's going to get you through the dough. And, of course, the ladies who, you know, having issues with the edges, she might be able to regrow them edges and you ain't got to have them fake edges that they be wearing these days. Not no shade or nothing like <laughs> no that. No shade but she'll, at all. <laughs> she'll help you regrow your edges. She might be able to do that as well as enlighten you on some safe hair care habits. So, hey, this is what right. we're doing. But, of course, I got to say thank you for being a guest on Brink Radio. It means a lot to have you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. As always, I'm, I'm excited about coming and chatting and chopping it up with you. No as doubt. the young kids say these days, yeah. chopping it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and another thing the young kids say, she spent that block. Like I said, she was on Bring TV. <laughs> now she on Bring Radio. But I really appreciate you. Like I said, I'm grateful to be in your presence. You know, you're, you're a tremendous person. Thank you. So are you. No doubt. With that being said, now back to Bring Radio. Don't move.